All that I was just thinking about it, but Jackie Chan really did have great action comedies. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for The Fall Guy. Now, this is a film that I was excited for because of the concept, because of who was attached to it. Not just Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling, but obviously David Leitch, the one of the co-directors of the first John Wick movie, and who's been doing a bunch of other kind of action, heavy action slash comedy movies the last little while. Bullet Train being one that I don't know how, but I just keep watching it over and over again. I think I've seen it like five times at home, like sometimes in the background, but it's a good one to watch in the background and it's got some good bits in it. I was kind of hoping for the same aspect in this one and considering the heavy emphasis on stunt work, honoring stunt workers, especially with the show's concept essentially being that it was a 70s 80s show was about a guy who was a stuntman who got into all social hijinks and whatnot and not all concepts like this turn out well when it comes to adapted to the big screen um but that obviously also could be completely uh opposite the mission impossible series being a massive example of that however i really do feel like that tv show they took an episode that would have been what 45 minutes and then they stretched it out to over an hour and a half long and you really do feel it because there are moments in the movie when the story just comes to a halt when the pacing comes to a halt and that's not so much the fault of the actors are kind of the stun work it's just the, the storytelling the film follows ryan gosling a stun guy who's just super cool obviously with a thumbs up and he and emily blunt who is a camera operator at the time have a thing but then unfortunately he befalls an accident and he goes into hiding just out of shame and then years later he's called to come back to the set and hijinks ensue and it turns out that he's actually called back to help find someone and then it turns out that there's far more of a mystery afoot, uh, murder and espionage is involved, and hijinks and blah 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 ensue. For the most part, I had a good fit of laughs throughout this movie. Ryan's just perfect at doing this stunt and humor. We have seen him do that in the last little while, and he just nails it in this movie. Emily Blunt's pretty good in it as well. Uh, we also got Kick-Ass back as a douchebag actor who just great he's so funny in this i uh, just despicably disgusting but quite good in it and then the stunts through for the most part when you're trying to make intense stunts but also have a comedic effect to it you really do have to kind of harken back to the spontaneous and wackiness of the jackie chan movies and they do a few bits in this movie that would make Jackie proud, at least in my thought. There's especially one where there's this car chase that involves a dumpster truck and a bin, and at one point, somehow, defying the laws of physics, the bin is still attached to the truck, but it's on its side and it's spinning, and Ryan and this guy are having a fight in it, and that part was great. I thought that part was probably one of the wackiest stunts even more so when the movie comes to an end and they show kind of the behind the scenes of how they did these scenes again very reminiscent of the jackie chan movies the stunts were pretty good maybe the end one was a little bit odd and kind of not as woo as you would think it'd be considering the emphasis of it truly speaking the biggest stunt that they did was at the very beginning of the movie where they actually broke the world record for car flips which if i am correct was previously held by casino royale when they flipped the aston martin but as i said earlier there are some pacing issues and a lot of that is the relationship between ryan gosling and emily blunt no fault to them they are selling it pretty well they're selling the chemistry pretty well it's just some parts where the dialogue just goes on and on and on and on and you're like, okay, I get the bit, but could we please move on? These are moments to drag out the pacing for no other reason than to just drag out the pacing. I, I didn't really get it. I figured that some of these moments could have maybe been cut down. It's, it's clearly showing stretching. And that's unfortunate when you have so much humor in this movie. Unfortunately, this pacing does lead it towards kind of a little bit of forgettable rewatchability is almost in the pits for me i would rather watch bullet train far 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 more than i would ever watch this movie again and that's again no fault to say that the movie's singular quality the acting's good the directing's good unfortunately it is truly just a one-time watch it's not something that's gangbusters it's not something that you're like yeah you really should go and see this 
it just feels like something that was great in concept but stretched a little bit too thin. So in the end, I'm gonna give the Fall Guy a three out of seven. It's a little bit unfortunate. I still recommend you see it if you want to. I would just say go and see it on a cheap Tuesday. I almost went and saw this in IMAX, but I didn't, and I regretted paying regular price for it. That should probably be an indicator of it. Something else too that I wanna make a note about is the Miami Vice jacket. Now I'm not entirely versed with the show, so maybe that was what the character wore in the show. I did find it a little weird that he's like, yeah, I did my first stunt work on Miami Vice, and Miami Vice came out between 84 and 89, and that means that Gosling, for his age would have been five to 10. So I, I just didn't understand that because just immediately when he said, I used to be a stunt guy for the Miami Vice, it's like, okay, you should be at least 60. Why are you Ryan Gosling? I didn't understand that bit. It would have made more sense if they said, hey, this was my dad's jacket, my dad worked in stunt work. That's kind of something that I come back to again with the script. I just don't understand why they didn't take a little bit more time to figure this bit out because me just sitting there was like, that's not possible. Again, those are just my thoughts. I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say. What did you guys think about it? Uh, did you enjoy the stunts? I did, at least. That's one thing I will say. The stunts are pretty cool. I thought that some of the humor was really good. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below and let me know. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.